Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. This is another exotic planet that I just discovered. I'm going to call this Coral Reef Planet. Just because I can't think of anything else to call these things. I thought of maybe Spike Ball or... I don't know, Jacks, Kind of like the metal jacks that you play with. But I think Coral Reef is a cooler... Cooler name. But it's got all these weird spiky things. <laughs> this one contains iron and emeril. This is the detritum version. It's got a cool, like, glow to, gl glowing orb. Oh, can I not stand on these things? Okay. very weird and these there's some floating ones in the air they look like some kind of puff ball or spore or something don't seem to be able to damage them at all your weapons just go through them but of course you can destroy these smaller ones And there's something else about exotic planets that I want to show you all in this video. I discovered that, well, with the help of people in my live streams, I discovered that exotic planets have special buildings on them. So I'm going to go to one of these special buildings that only appear on exotic planets. I'll show you what I mean. Whoa, look at that. Oh man, I gotta check this out. They're like all stacked up on top of each other. Oh, come on, land. Darn it. I've lost where I was came from. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. They're all stuck to... Okay, yeah. I'm definitely calling this a coral reef. Because this is like how a coral reef grows. It's like these coral creatures grow on top of each other. And as they die, they continue to build up. And that's how a cor coral reef is created. So it looks like these, these puffball things floating in the air landed and died and turned into rocky substance got stuck together. Now this is technically a tree because it's made of carbon. Although I don't think it will be listed under flora. No. None of these things get listed in the scan stuff for the planet. I'm going to go ahead and name this the Coral Reef, before I forget. I'm going to name the star Low Tide. <laughs> okay, so back to looking for those special buildings. I'm really glad they made some new types of planets. Even if they're like... They're kind of different than normal planets because they don't have normal buildings on them. And they don't usually have animals. But it's still great that they added a lot of weird planets and stuff. I'm looking for one of those buildings. 
I'm pretty sure all exotic plants have these buildings that I'm looking for. Just gotta keep looking for a little while. Can I run into these things? No. Just go right through them. Oh man, I really like the ones that are all stacked on top of each other. It's so cool looking. Oh, those don't even damage me. Do the rocks damage me? No. Oh, kind of did. Ooh. So I think after this type of planet, there will only be one more type of exotic planet I haven't found yet. Unless there's more types than I've heard of. After this, there's just bubble planets I'm missing. I've seen pictures of people who discovered bubble planets. But I have not found one yet. So after this, I think that's the only other exotic planet I haven't discovered yet. Still looking for those buildings. I found I found these buildings on just about all the other planets I've been to lately. All the other exotic planets. So there should be some on this one. Hopefully. Man, it's it's crazy how close to the ground you can you can go with low flight now. Come on. There's gotta be one around here. Somewhere. There we go, finally. Yay. These are the special buildings that only appear on exotic planets. They are basically um, like experiment reporting logs from the Atlas. Like the Atlas is, spoiler alert, the No Man's Sky universe is a simulation created by the Atlas. And the Atlas is basically running some kind of simulation to like simulate an entire universe so that it can predict like outcomes, possible outcomes or something like that. So these these things are like reporting logs of things the Atlas has discovered. They're very mysterious and kind of use strange terms that well, I'll just show you what I mean. Bounds loss, label Mupino, iteration, a really long number. 
A terminal blinks awaiting input. Download data. Scenario. Proliferation of Gek Corvax Viking triad across the majority of known realities. Recurrence of traveler prophecy throughout lifeform cultures. So it's saying that it created these three races, Gek Corvax Kite yeah, Gek Corvax Viking across all of the realities that it's generated. And all of them, all of the races start to have traveler prophecies. So the thing that makes me wonder about this is, did they prophesy travelers before the Atlas decided to make travelers? Or did they just create the prophecy because the Atlas had created travelers or, or was planning to create travelers? I don't know. Analysis. Cultivated life form grouping with minimal intervention, yet repeated motif of blank has emerged. Why? What is it that the universe desires? What does it believe to be missing? Huh. What does it believe to be missing? The universe believes that it's missing something? So did the Atlas create create this simulation and then the the universe itself believed that it was missing something? And so is that why the Atlas created travelers? In order to create something that the universe was missing? I don't know. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, so that is my video about exotic coral reef planets. And I also demonstrated to you that exotic planets have these special new buildings on them that you can get some cool lore from. It's very mysterious information. So thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.